Hi everybody, this is Joey with the Grisham Martial Arts Center. I apologize for my voice. I'm uh, fighting a cold, but I have had a request to do um, kind of the terminology and the interaction between teacher and student. So uh, I've asked Sam to help me out here. We'll, you'll get to see him in a minute. But uh, we're going to kind of go through kind of what we do here uh, as far as the commands go in the beginning of class and kind of the etiquette that we're looking for. Okay, so if you guys have any questions or if you have uh, I know my voice is a little difficult to understand, so if you send me an email or send me some sort of comment on there, um, I can explain it or type it out or whatever it is that, that you have a question on. So without further ado, uh, go ahead and let's look this way. Okay. The beginning of class, everybody lines up in the attention position. This is called chadiyat, right? Chadiyat, right? Your hands are on the side of your body, your feet are together and your body and, and uh, eyes are front, facing straight towards the flags, okay? Then the uh, instructor, Salonim, or the Kyosanim, whoever is leading the class, will call the salute to the flags, okay? From here, Chariyev, Kuke, Bene. Paro, all right? That is the salute to the flags, okay? Kuke means flags, Kuke, Bene, right? Paro is, uh, Anytime you hear the paro term, that means return to order, to the last position that you're in. Okay, from this position, then they will face the instructor. You'll say, chariot, kunyet, everybody bows, okay, and chumbi, okay? Now, if you are a teacher, um, in this class, we step the opposite way that the entire class uh, steps. If you notice, chariot, Sam comes to attention, I say chumbi, he steps to his left, okay? I step to my right because I want to be his mirror. Okay? If you have any questions on that, feel free to write. Okay? Try it. Okay. When you bow, you're looking forward. Okay? Hands stay alongside. Don't bow in this fashion here. Right? Hands stay down. Bow. Back up. Chumbi. One, two. Okay? The chumbi position or the ready position, your hands are at the belt level. Okay? And they're one fist apart from each other. Your arms are not bowed out like this. They're straight, okay, in this, in this fashion, okay? From this position, we call, okay, some schools meditate, we don't. Um, um, we don't adhere to all of the metaphysics of martial arts. Uh, we're more into uh, the reality of martial arts, right? Um, I'm not gonna ring a bell from across the room with my chi, okay, there is no chi. Right, only hard work and uh, body mechanics. Right? I mean, if you're a member of this club, if you believe in that, that's your business. But here, you know, I'm, I'm more interested in, in the actual reality of martial arts. Okay, so we don't go into meditation and all sort of stuff. Um, from this position, we will step into horse stance and do center punch. Okay, the term for center punch is chungdang konkyo. Okay, but you have to be in the right stance. The stance for horse stance is kima jase. Okay, so from this position, keep on set to me. One, two, punch, and everybody key ops there. Key op is the term for yell. Okay, so when you're, oh, when you're saying key op, okay, there's a lot of people in a lot of uh, Korean schools, or not Korean schools, but Korean martial artists, that when they key op, they actually say key op. Okay, uh, that word means yell, so that's like saying yell. Yell doesn't make a lot of sense, okay? So the key up comes from the diaphragm and explodes out. There's an explosion of energy, okay? <coughs> okay, so we will, come on, set your mic. Okay, from this position, we will do center punches. The center punch comes from the solar, ple the solar plexus, relax, all the way to this knuckle, okay? And then when he punches, he will punch in the same place. Right, okay. So that is kimajase. Now we will do Two punches, go ahead and punch twice. We will do three punches, one, two, three. And sometimes we will punch high, middle, then low. Okay? High, middle, low. Okay? So it's face, uh, solar plexus, nuts. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, from this position we also do sang sudo. Sang sudo means double knife and strike to the neck. Right? Sang sudo. Okay, he will strike out, hitting him. Pretending that he is his own opponent, he is striking at his neck level, okay, with the in, inside of the hand, right? Of the uh, 
uh, the blade of the hand. Strike back and come right back. Okay, so strike down and back. Right. That is Sang Snow. Okay, some schools would do Pak uh Maki, which is outside the sand block, or Anuru Pak Maki, which is inside outside block. Um, we do that later in different exercises. So from this position, I would say Haro. Okay, that brings you back to home. Now we do the stretching exercises. Um, Beginning with front stretch kick, so ah, hold it to me. Okay, hands are to the side for balance, right? A little higher. Okay, you step into a front stance. Some people, they, I mean, there's many different names for, for front stance. Up dasse is the easiest way to say it. Up gu dasse, I've heard a bunch of different ways. Okay, but in this case, you're gonna do a front stretch kick. Okay, up hold it right? From here, the leg will come up straight. Without bending the knee, don't do up chagi, which is front snap kick. Up over here, straight up and straight back. Now, whenever you switch in class, <coughs> excuse me, you will do hop change. Switch, jumping into front stance. Up over here, other leg, straight up, straight back. Okay, switch. After you do ten or fifteen of each exercise, okay, we do. Uh, put your right hand. Okay, outside inside crescent kick. Okay, it's your choice. You can do outside inside crescent kick first, or you can put your other hand out and do inside outside crescent kick first. Doesn't matter. Okay, however you stretch is is up to you. Um, if you can turn, face the camera. Okay, do inside outside crescent kick. Okay, and down. Switch hands. Now, switch. All right, outside inside crescent kick. And back to the front stance. Okay. Set yourself a realistic goal. I see this all the time in class. The hands will be way up here, okay? And then when they kick, the hand goes down like this. So they go from here, to, as if the instructor won't be able to see it. Okay, so don't, don't do that. Don't go back to it now. Okay, so we'll do apolidity, front stretch kick, right? Then you'll do right hand out, outside inside crescent kick, outside inside, akurani suchagi. Right? Change hands inside outside. Anero bakusu chagi. Right? Then you do muruk chagi, muruk knee kicks. Right? Both hands out. Apple Right? Both hands out. Muruk chagi, muruk. Right? Knee kick. Okay. Just do the position and hold. Break. Okay. <laughs> hold it. So your knee comes up high. Put this hand here. Hold yourself in balance. The hands come right to the ankles, and your toes are pointed down, so you don't stub your toes. Okay. You're reaching through and breaking back. Okay. Go ahead. Hey! Back. Okay. Up. Okay. That's the, the warm up that we do after stretching. Okay. Whatever stretching that you're doing in, in your class is, is up to your instructor. Okay. If you're doing static stretching or ballistic stretching or passive stretching, whatever it could be, um, there are reasons for it. Okay. In this class, we do ballistic stretching, so there's a lot of bouncing. Okay, so we have a lot of aggressive type stretching in here, right? It's not a dance class, so we don't do a lot of passive stretching, right? Well, you need your muscles to be ready in an instant, okay? So keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions, send me some, some, sort, of, uh, send me some sort of thanks.